Hello, my dear doctor. I am Dr. Shumudu Kumar Shaha, working as a chairman. CBI, it has been the membership of Royal College of Physicians of Ireland, is a postgraduate internationally recognized medical qualifications in general medicine by the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. MRCBI is becoming a popular nowadays because of so many important factors. Firstly, the MRCBI is recognized by General Medical Council of United Kingdom. It does essentially mean that doing the MRCBI is nothing but doing the MRCP United Kingdom. It does mean that if you do the MRCBI, that you'll have the recognition from the General Medical Council of United Kingdom and you can work in United Kingdom as well. And secondly, the MRCBI preparations for the exam preparations is easier to prepare than that of the MRCP UK. Thirdly, the higher success rate in MRCP Ireland is compared to the MRCP United Kingdom. Fourthly, the MRCP Ireland needs the shorter time to finish the full MRCP Ireland in your hands. So, in a nutshell, doing the MRCBI is easier to prepare and the high success rate in passing as well as the shorter time to finish your full MRCBI in your hands, my dear. So, considering all the convenient factors, nowadays the doctors go for MRCBI rather than doing the MRCB UK. But the choice is yours that doing the MRCBI and doing the MRCB UK this choice is yours but yes knowing the important factors so the people can decide actually what to do MRCBI in general medicine that you have to pass the three examinations altogether before achieving the degree the MRCBI in your hands starting for the first step that the MRCBI part one and second step the MRCBI part two written and third step in the MRCBI, the critical part. Means these are the three important parts of examination that you need to pass before achieving the degree in your hands like the MRCBI. And this exam format, you regret to know that only the single paper containing the 100 questions of three hours duration total exam. And the question pattern is a single best answer. Single best answer, it does mean that you have the five options like A, B, C, D, E, and you have to put only the single answer to get the full marks in your hands. You'll be glad to know that there will be no negative marking. And you'll be glad to know that, my dear doctors, the MRCBI will have the only single paper that you need to cross. In contrast, in MRCB UK Part 1 exam, that you have to face the two papers of containing 100 questions and 100 questions all together. It has been the 200 questions. So in terms of that, the MRCBI will have the only 100 questions. So considering this factor, you have only the single paper that the 100 questions that you need to face. Regarding the exam diet, it does mean that MRCB Ireland, means the MRCBI, you can give the exams the three times a year. In the month of January, April and August. So you'll have the three diets in the full, the, in the year round, that you have the chances that three times a year the exam is held. Now the question is that who can sit for the exam for the MRCBI part one? Means the eligibility criteria. You'll be glad to know that the MRCBI meets only the six months after MBBS or MD means the primary medical qualification. In contrast, in MRCB UK needs the full one year training after MBBS or after primary medical qualifications. So in this sense that we can think about, yes, you can give this exam or you can sit for this exam earlier than that of the MRCB UK, especially for the MRCBI. Means you can sit for the MRCBI 
earlier than that of the MRC view okay. Now the question is, how many attempts that you can appear for the part one exam, or maybe the part two written, or maybe the clinical examinations? So you'll be glad to know that there's six months, six times, and six years. So summarizing all of them together means you have the part one six attempts, but yes, within six years that you need to finish the part one exam. And then the part two, you will have another six attempts. And for the part three, this is very important. Another important thing is that the, within three years of the part two passing, that you need to appear for the part two clinical exam. So one of the important things that you need to keep in your mind, within three years of passing your part two, you must sit for the part two clinical exam. It has been that if the three years time is expired after passing the part two, you need to reseed once again for the part two written exam before moving for the part two clinical exam. Regarding your application procedure, yes, my doctor listened very carefully. You need to provide only your primary medical qualifications and that should be attested by some of the bodies that is given to your website. So what you need, only you need to provide that you passed your primary medical qualifications. In MRCBI part one, the more than 75% questions are based on the clinical scenarios, including the investigations and the management and the clinical diagnosis altogether. Rather than the core basic sciences, we call it the clinical sciences. And other 25% questions will be the clinical sciences based on the clinical anatomy, clinical physiology, clinical biochemistry, clinical genetics, and also some of the immunological diseases or immunological things that will be coming in your exam right here. The MRCBI part two written exam formats consisted of two papers of 75 questions of single best answers. Definitely the part two questions will have the more descriptive and more details regarding the examinations, diagnosis, and the management plan altogether. That is contrast to the MRCPI part one exam. So you have the two papers of the 75 questions of each paper altogether, means total 150 questions that you need to face. And the question formats will be the single best answer, similar to the MRCPI part one exams. And each paper, the time duration will have the 2.5 hours with the two and a half hours for the each papers and in between you'll have the two hours of break and you'll be get to know that there will be no negative marking the exam dies similarly for the part one there is another three dies in each year with the three times in each year the exam is usually held in the month of March, July, and October. One of the important informations that I like to share, you can exempt for the part one exam if you have the following the qualifications from the different countries, including the MRCP UK in your full hands. Means if you have the MRCP UK in your hands fully, in your hands, that you can directly sit for the part two Ireland exam matter means the MRCBI part two exams. So similarly, there are other degrees as well that I'd like to mention. These degrees, according to the MRCBI websites, these degrees are recognized as an exemption to seat for the directly for the part two exam. So MRCP UK, MRCP PATH, MRCP CH, MRACP, FRCP C, FCP SA. Arab Boards in Medicine and Pediatrics, Saudi Boards in Medicine and Pediatrics, Omani Specialty Boards in Medicine and Pediatrics, Kuwait Boards in Medicine and Pediatrics, MRCB Psych, FCPS in Medicine and Pediatrics from Pakistan, the American Boards in Medicine and Pediatrics, and MMED in Malaysia. So if you have these qualifications in hands, you can get an exemption from the MRCBI part one Ireland exam. You can directly sit for the MRCBI part two exam. 
So regarding the exam fees for the part one is 710 pounds. And similarly, part two is a 710 Irish pound. And for part two critical, this is 1360 Irish pound. So these are the exam fees, my that they need to pay for attempting each and every attempt for the part one, part two, and the part two critical exam. MRCBI part one written and part two written exams that you can give through online procedure. It does mean that you can appear and see the exam rather than going to the exam center. You can see it at home or at the working place through your own computer through the online procedure. And there are some of the important criteria that you need to check in the website so that you can get the details. But yes, that you can appear for the part one and for the part two written exams through online. So this is a preferred thing definitely compared to any other exams of the MRCB United Kingdom as well. Regarding the exam centers, for the MRCBI part one and part two written papers that you can appear at home through the online. So you don't need to worry about the exam centers. You need to travel to the exam centers to the different countries or maybe the different centers as well. But in contrast to the part one and part two written papers, the part two critical exams, there are different centers. Definitely the center is in the Ireland first. And other than the Ireland, there are other overseas centers are also available. Most importantly, in Malaysia and Oman, there are two centers. And another two centers are Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. So regarding the exam formats or the part two critical exams, this is consisted of the two long cases and the five short cases. And these two long cases will be ha will have the 25 minutes of each two long cases that you'll get. And the five short cases will have the each cases will have the 10 minutes of each of each and every case of the five short cases. It means that two long cases, five short cases. So in the long cases, out of 25 minutes, you'll have the chances, total 20 minutes, to take the history, to do the clinical examinations, and you need to tell the full diagnosis with the patients all together. Means you'll have the 20 minutes to spend with the patient, and the five minutes the discussions and the interview or the vibe or whatever you call it with the examiners. So this is the total 25 minutes of formats for the two long cases altogether. So you will have the two long cases of each of 25 minutes cases mind you. And other than these two long cases, we'll have the five short cases and every cases you get only 10 minutes. And out of these five short cases, the one case will have the communication skills and ethics case finding. And out of these four short cases, other than these communication skills and ethics cases, means the four short cases will be the examination station. It does mean that out of 10 minutes, we'll have the six minutes to examine the patients and four minutes to discuss with the examiners. So summarizing all the exam formats, that the two long cases, five short cases, out of five short cases, one is the communication skills and ethics, and four is the examination stations. Regarding the exam diets of the MRCBI part two clinical exams, this is from the January to November. What does it mean? When you apply for the exams for the part two clinical exam, they will provide the dates from the January to November. So exams are held from the January to November. You'll be glad to know that, my dear doctor, for the last 12 years, the SS Academy is providing training to the different countries' peoples all over the world. And you'll be glad to know that this is more than 100 countries' peoples and the doctors from the different countries are trained and doing the online courses. And they're passing their part one, part two, and the clinical exams with a successful results with their first attempt. You'll be glad to know that this course will provide you 
every details and the need and the necessities a candidate usually feel to prepare the best possible way to pass their exam with their first attempts. So before finishing, then I'd like to share the doctors now to prefer the doing the MRCPI rather than the MRCP UK. Considering the important factors that easier to prepare and the high success rate in passing rate and also short duration or shorter duration in completing the full MRCBI in their hands. And most importantly, the MRCBI exams that you can give at your home through the online. That's a very, very important factors that in the part one and also the part two, these two exams that you can give through the online exams. So providing all the factors that the doctors can choose to pre prefer to go for MRCBR. So yes, my doctor, I have tried my best level to give you the full details and the every possibilities that you really need to know regarding the general informations of the MRCP Ireland exams, including the part one and part two written, as well as the part two clinical exams altogether, and how to prepare the best possible way, as I already shared. And I hope that these video clips will be really helpful to prepare yourselves and to achieve your dream to get the degree like the MRCPI.